going on everyone so right now guys about to get uh about to get ready about to get dressed um and head outside tomorrow i gotta run into work you know since the covid pandemic doing some work from home but tomorrow i'm gonna uh, end up heading out to work um to one of our hospital locations and pretty much work on a uh do a site survey for a project that we're working on um, for a particular hospital I'm going to basically drive my truck down there and my headlight um, which I recently purchased May of 2020 so I got to contact Amazon or contact somehow figure out how to contact the seller to let them know that hey I got a 24 month uh, warranty on these LED headlights and one of them they continuously it's just constantly flashing and then eventually it just dies out so uh, what i'm going to do is swap it out i bought some new led headlights from amazon from a different seller uh which had some really good views um so we'll see how long this lasts but my hope is that you know i can swap them out um and eventually contact the other led manufacturer and just be like hey look these headlights you know got an issue need to, need to do a warranty replacement and then that way i can use those as a spare commonly what i usually do guys is i usually uh no matter if it's headlights tail lights uh corning you know the signal lights i commonly always have a spare on me so in an event that something happens the light starts flickering the light goes out I'll have a replacement and then I can buy another spare to replace the spare that I, you know, had that I had to use. Uh, the primary reason why uh, I, I do this, I keep spare of, of lights is because, uh, one, you know, safety first. When that headlight goes out and you have that other light, it's not enough light, okay? So drive a light, go out, you got your passenger's light, but it's still not enough light. Especially when it comes to back roads when there's no street lights. And, you know, there's situations where there's animals around theirs. So you, you want to drive safe. Before I change the headlight, I want to kind of in, inspect the headlight itself to kind of see if the LED lights did blow out or if it's just a bad connection or if it's a bad headlight fuse. So I'm kind of do a little bit quick troubleshooting and then I'm going to do a headlight uh, bulb replacement. So these are the tools that we're going to be using. We got our eBay steel toe boots. Man, these things are absolutely wonderful. And steel toe, breathable, comfortable, nice and soft. Man, I try to tell you guys. And we have our tool kit, which I got from, um, I believe it was either Advance or AutoZone. Uh, it was on sale for like $25. Hmm, I'm missing a socket. You can always find another one. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a uh, Phillips flathead. Um, your sockets, uh, rich um, needle nose, and um, I usually call them some snips, uh, wire cutters. We have our impact gun, which I got this off of eBay for 60 bucks. These are the tools we're gonna use today. More than likely for my truck, we're probably gonna use like a, a 12. So, yeah, yeah, we got a 12 right here. So it's either a 12 or 10, but I'll let you guys know in a few. This is my 2017 Toyota Tundra. And the issue is our driver's side bulb. Uh, it's a led bulb um, it's those particular led bulbs that have leds on um, each side there's four leds total um, with which i bought because typically with led bulbs i'm not gonna say typically but any bulb you know when it blows out uh, once that bulb blows out you're gone if one led goes out you at least still have three leds left okay in this particular situation one LED went out, and then all of the LEDs 
just went black. Total failure, just like that. I could see it because of the temperatures outside, so eh, quite possible. But what was interesting is that when I jumped on the highway, um, I went to merge on the highway, uh, from, you know, like, you know, 30 miles per hour to, let's just say 50, okay? Uh, what I noticed is that the light, it was off and then it started flickering. It started flickering as I was accelerating and then it just turned on. So as I was driving on the highway, it remained on. But then when I got off the highway, it flickered and then it went off. And that was when I was at a complete stop. So... You know, it could be something with the ballast because it's got like a built-in ballast. It's not receiving the power or the LEDs itself. Just dealing with the fact that one LED went out and the other three remained on. And then eventually the other three went out too. So um, we're going to look for our fuse to just check the fuse to make sure that the fuse is okay. And it doesn't have any corrosion. Um, I do know on the battery terminal, there is some corrosion on the battery terminal. There is some uh, corrosion on here, which uh, you typically want to get that corrosion off. So I do plan on doing the same thing, cleaning off that corrosion. Before I do that, it makes sense to actually show you guys the issue. Gotta take this truck to a car wash. So like garbage. Alright, start her up. Turn the lights on. The LED at the top, that's the one that typically goes out. Um, you know, which is quite interesting because mechanically, if there's a issue, a hallway issue. It should remain an issue such as if that led at the top is truly you know dead it shouldn't come back on so it's like when i turn my truck off turn it back on then the led start come back on which is kind of telling me that potentially the built-in ballast has many function itself in the lamest terms when we turn the truck off and turn it back on we're restarting <laughs> We're restarting the the, 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 the the power that's going to that ballast. You know, that's just assumption. So this is our fuse box. We're going to take a look to see exactly um, if the fuse in general may have some sort of, you know, corrosion or burnt out fuse. We'll see. You know, it's a Toyota, so I can't really see it, but it's worth checking. It's definitely worth checking. All right, let's go ahead and turn it off. Oh, I like the light off first i'm always the type of person that turns my electronics off you know heat radio i usually turn them all off before well it's actually off before turning the vehicle off so you should just be able to push this down there we go it's not easy uh doing it with one hand golly Man, it is dusty in there. I did not expect that. And I don't expect, was I driving due to dirt or something? Well, you can see dust up there is, yeah, it's quite dusty. It's quite interesting. So what we're gonna look for is, this thing is shiny. This thing is shiny. Um, I'm looking for light. Looking for the left side, because this is technically the left, so. The way to identify your headlights is if you're sitting from the driver's seat perspective. So say for instance, I turn around, I'm in the driver's seat, left, right. So this is left headlight. So headlight, left. So this is left headlight and that's left lower. So that's gonna be our fog light. All right, so I'm gonna need a fuse puller. Where's my fuse puller? Is there a fuse puller? Oh, there it goes right there. Let me get my ladder because I'm only 5'3 and this truck is sitting taller than me. All right, so these are the mini fuses. Mini fuse. So what we're going to do is take my fuse puller and hope that I don't drop anything. We're going to take this top left. Got that. 
come down in here, drop it in here. Cool. I'm not gonna already tell this is good. Yep. That fuse is still together. That fusible link. Yeah, she's still there. And I don't see any corrosion on here, so we're good. So let's get to proceeding with replacing our uh hit light bulb just in summary. We gotta take the grill off. We'll pop this lower cover off and then we can get access to this hit light. So this is your hit light screw and then you got another screw here. But as far as your grill, you got your plastic clip. You got um, bolt here, bolt there, uh, bolt there, bolt there, and another plastic tab there. And then from there, you'll basically pull here and release the grill from the uh, plastic tabs and this it should have a, uh, another plastic clip that you pull off and then you'll just take this and shimmy it to it yourself and it'll unclip from here So I forgot to mention that once you get the bolts um, loose, what you're gonna do is pull up on the top. Uh, so that way you can release it. So you need to pull up to release this whole cover from those clips. So you just pull up like that on each side. So next, what you want to do is take a cloth and place that at the bottom so that way you don't scuff up your headlight. So this is the LED light that we're going to replace. This is what I was referring to as the ballast. Looks like we got a little bit of corrosion here. And it looks like, yeah, definitely, potentially fluids may have gotten inside here, but they're supposed to be waterproof. That's the thing. Hmm. Anyway, we're going to disconnect it and just pull her out. Yeah, I can see some corrosion on here. We're going to get this plastic cover off. So we got it off of the uh, around the surrounding lip. Now what we need to do is there's a wire that's basically securing this thing down. So I basically need to get this wire here. Um, I need to push it down and then bring it back up. It's kind of hard to show you guys, but I just need to pull, push this tab right here down. down and push it up. There you 
see I got the tab up now. Kinda got it up. Okay. No, it doesn't have twists, it's just that this one. still needs to come all the way back. There we go. There she goes. Now this is glass. Just to let you guys know, this is glass that's around it. So it's heavily protected, but for some reason it keeps going out. And I honestly believe that it's because of this but unfortunately it's basically all attached so you can't just replace this so I honestly believe these LEDs are fine I just think this is the issue because that's what commonly goes with HIDs LEDs ballast usually goes first then the LED these are the replacement LED H4 LED headlights they are absolutely similar to the same one that I had before. See what I'm saying? Different color, but they're all the same. Oh, you know what? The cool thing about these is that you don't have to put the daggone plastic wrap around it. These actually come with blue glass. Uh, how can I say this? What is the true technical term? Uh, I want to say these are LED glass enclosures because you basically uh, wrap them on well you basically put the LEDs inside the glass so these are blue and this is supposed to be I believe yellow or amber color but that's pretty cool now this fan is more so more protected compared to the other fan and this is definitely ventilated so this is the previous one. It's ventilated, but the fan is not protected compared to this one. So what we're going to do is put the glass on this one. It's already got a clear glass on, so we're going to swap that out for a blue one. These LEDs are definitely smaller. Definitely smaller compared to these LEDs. Just look how big that is. You guys can definitely see it, but you're straining to see that. So this should give us much, much more better light. So now I'm gonna try to get this glass thing out peacefully. There we go. Careful, this is, careful guys, these are glass, okay? You don't wanna pinch them, you don't want to scratch them up, it's glass. It's very fragile. So the way that, I kind of had it to get it out is press it down, okay, and then take my hand, kind of pull it out. There we go. But be careful because it's glass and then these edges may be sharp. I'm just going to spin this top off over here. How you doing? So, clear, blue, I got it all. So now we just need to slide this over here, like so, and then put our uh, rubber um, gasket back on. All right, so we got the rubber gasket. So now we got the rubber gasket on. And now we got to put this back on. So I put I had my uh, gloves on because sometimes it's hard to get this thing off. So just in case you guys may be struggling to get this thing off, try it with some uh, rubber gloves. All right, so I'm going to put the rubber gloves back on to tighten this up. That's perfect. And that way I don't have to worry about cutting myself too on this glass. 
Don't make it too tight, but just right. Let me put this through. Hmm. Oh, you know what? This thing needs to come off. I totally remember now. This needs to come off. Then this needs to go through. Then that needs to come back on. So you gotta push this all the way down. That way you can get this back on. Alright, so looking at this, we got enough space to get that locking tab on, at least for the base. Just gotta match it up. One, two, three. Which side is the big side? I'm just let me get the other headlight real quick. Which side is which? And that's gonna be a no. Switch it around. That's still gonna be a no. Negative. I could have took the package. You could have? Yeah. <laughs> you have a good one. You too. You too. All right, that's the most hardest part of this, is putting this bone in. The easy part is connecting it to power. It's got anti-corrosion. We knocked that side out, so we're good to go. I'm gonna go install this one, and that's it. Uh, I may do another video to show you guys, you know, how it looks at night. Um, but we'll see, because I've got a lot of work to do, and I gotta get ready for tomorrow. Now, right now, I have the high beams on, so it's showing a full light, but without it, it's gonna be side to side. So let's turn the hot beams off. All right, and this is it with the hot beams off. So as you can see, our light pattern is on the side, but it beams straight through. I love it. Can't wait to see how it looks at night. Kind of show you guys the light beam pattern. guys can see but of course the street has some uh it's got some decent light i must say that so it's looking pretty darn good it's definitely looking pretty darn good i tell you that for a fact i like it i absolutely like it i'll step out um of the truck 
so that way you guys can kind of see it off of the ground. Hopefully it, it will be in an uh, area where, you know, there's not too much light. All right, kind of temporary park location, but this is the uh, beam pattern. It's pretty bright, pretty darn bright. Just the way it looks. Here's another shot from inside the vehicle. I don't know if you guys can see, but that tree, and then there's another tree right there, and there's another tree right there. The light is definitely beaming off of it perfectly. Zoom in. You should guys should be able to see the light. Okay. Now, with my previous uh, LED lights, um, I don't know, but for some reason, the lights were actually kind of beaming upwards more so. Um, these tundras, they do have, you know, your um, light adjustments, you know, which is pretty much for, say for instance, you throw a trailer on the back, uh, a load and, you know, your vehicle in the back may dip down. You can basically, which will cause the front the lights to kind of beam up. You can adjust it, you know, to the appropriate, uh, area but i did that and that still didn't work um because it was something crazy about those lights that i had but anyway um as you can see as i turn around right now we're beaming at this house i don't want <laughs> to be uh you know voiding their privacy but you guys kind of kind of see exactly the way these how good these lights are let's see if we can kind of turn it towards this way now, as you can see in this dark area over here, we got some good light. Got some really good light. And we're across the street. So, these are some really good lights. And that's all I gotta say. They are some good lights. It is snowing outside. And as you can see, it's definitely sticking on the ground because um, basically the weatherman had predicted that we're gonna get a bunch of flurries and it's not gonna stick. Uh, it's 0 so, 0.1 miles, turn right. So basically what happened is um, the county, they did not put any uh, salt down. Why is this guy in this lane? Oh, there's snow blowing. Yeah, but still bro, put your, uh, put your, your hazards on man, you don't just, get on the side of the road and turn park. right still you don't get on the side of the road to park like that you know i understand you got your men out here but still you know safety first hopefully you guys found this video helpful um if you're not a subscriber please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh if you got any questions guys be sure to leave a leave a comment and i'll get back to you when i get back to you peace guys take it easy